Welcome at uh, JFT Brokers to our next webinar about JFT Invest Trading and Investing Simplified. My name is Stefan Friedrichowski and today we have the 9th of May 2019. Yeah, JFT Invest, that's the topic of uh, today and a warm welcome in the name of JFT to everybody out there. It's a pleasure for me to introduce a little bit more about JFT Invest, what's possible um, with that trading platform. And of course, we will have a view on my personal JFT Invest account. And then you immediately will realize what's possible with JFT Invest and what you can achieve if you do similar steps like I do. But in total, we will touch a few different topics. Um, of course, the highlights of last week um, will be mentioned. And um, we have a new strategy uh, once again. So you see that our portfolio is uh, getting bigger and bigger. Uh, up to now, we have 15 trading strategies. And of course, we will talk about the new one as well. And finally, about my personal JFT Invest account. And then you can see what's possible. Okay, but before we really start, you know the procedure I have always to show at least once during a webinar that uh, with disclaimer, because we talk about trading and um, that means finally you may do any decisions, but those decisions um, are totally on your own and your own responsibility. I think you understand that quite well, uh, but it has to be mentioned during each webinar. So um, let's directly jump into uh, the highlights of last week um, and uh, then I will follow up with uh, a little bit more details about uh, JFD Invest. But the highlights uh, last week are yeah, those um, investors who, who follow the strategy BIP generator, yeah, they have earned uh, more than 10% in even one week. So uh, anybody has been jumping into that strategy at the right time has a totally uh, good profit uh, being made in even one week. Overall, you can see in the so, uh, small summary here uh, that the strategy has high potential. It's trading exclusively. Uh, oh, the, English, the, the email is in not in um, English. Let me uh, let me see here. Here we are. And um, of course, uh, now everything is in English once again. Uh, so anyhow, that strategy BIP generator is trading exclusively British pound US dollar. And um, it depends on the right timing, then it's a wonderful strategy. So jumping in and jumping out at the right time, yeah, that's the way how you can earn money with uh, a BIP generator. But you will see other strategies in a few minutes uh, which have a more steady growth and maybe mm, that is of interest as well. But now I think it's time that we first have a view on overall JFD Invest and what's JFD Invest about. So you find it quite simple. You go to the web page and uh, if you're on the web page, um, of course, then you can find uh, this button here, Investing. And um, there we can directly jump into JFD uh, Invest. Um, and doing so, uh, then you will see there are a few things possible. So overall, it's a trading platform meant to be uh, in a way that um, you follow trading strategies. And if I say you follow trading strategies, let's first have a view on what's really possible. So in total, we have 15 strategies, but on the web page here, you will find immediately the top five performing strategies. Uh, and right now you see um, even the, <laughs> the one on the fifth place, yeah, has earned more than 30%. So we are talking about high highly profitable strategies and uh, which are really doing good jobs. As you can see here, um, the ranking starts with close to 90% so uh, and goes down for the top five performers um, to 30%. But we will see more strategies um, later when we directly go in. You see already a few key figures and one is uh, one key figure I always mentioned to you in the webinar and that is about equity balance deviation because that is quite important one. Equity balance deviation is about that you have open trades and those open trades might be already 
in uh, the positive region or in the negative region. And if so, in the negative, then we are talking about floating losses. The other one would be floating profits. Those floating profits have not been realized up to now, so the trades have not been closed, but it's a minus. You have to, mm, let's call it, to, to suffer. Uh, you have to wait. And that's something I point out here because that means you are temporarily in loss and therefore it's important that you know that if you go for strategies like that, that you are willing to accept those kind of losses, at least the floating ones. Um, and maybe they turn out later to profitable trades, but you never know before. So that's an important one and you see a little bit of a sequence like, hey, uh, the higher the profit, the higher the equity balance deviation uh, might be. But in total, what's here about that finally, if you go into JFD Invest, you act like a portfolio manager and therefore you set up your own preferences in terms of uh, profits, in terms of drawdowns. So those parameters are totally up to you and those uh, parameters might have an impact on which strategy you choose and therefore it's like a portfolio manager and that's your job now if you are going into JFD Invest and I can tell you it's a real wonderful and cool job. Uh, how to do that? Steps? Just quite easy. So you open a JFD Invest profile, um, that's uh, just that button uh, sign up here um, and then mm, and you uh, can open a JFD Invest account if you like. Finally, you connect your Invest account with your profile and then you can start following those strategies. The JFD Invest account is a special account. Uh, so that means you cannot take, your, if you are already a client of um, JFD, you cannot take your original trading account. You need um, you need a separate one and that is called a JFD Invest account. Quite simple reason. One reason is that account has a leverage of 1 to 100 uh, as you follow professional traders and therefore you get the same conditions. And the other thing is you cannot trade directly by your own. That means if you want to open a trade like long euro US dollar 0.01 lot, uh, no, that you can, cannot do. Uh, but you can follow those uh, strategies. What you can always do in, a, in order to have a more detailed view on what we are talking about here and that you can do even without a profile and without any JFD Invest account is you just uh, step in uh, as a guest. And um, that you can do anytime uh, wherever you are and that is something which is important for about JFD Invest at all. Whatever you do, you can do it yeah, wherever you are. So the only thing uh, you need is you have, need access to um, to the internet and then you can look for the strategies. And as we will see uh, in a minute, uh, my personal JFD Invest account, uh, you can look into your account and you can even change strategy. So you can do that job wherever you are. Um, you just need the internet, of course. And now we are in as a guest. And that means uh, we can see all the strategies. You see the table and now we have a second page here um, already because we have 15 strategies up to now. And you can see once again those kind of key figures. Um, yeah, and now you can do the next step. You can jump in any strategy which is shown here. and. Um, Maybe let's have a look to uh, the top performer first. Um, and that has been BIP generator. And um, we see a quite strange equity curve over time. And you see uh, what I mentioned uh, earlier, that if you jump into the strategy at the right time, perfect fit, because then you, you might have those kind of uh, profits in your account and those trades and that's the technique behind uh, those trades are directly copied or mirrored into your account. So um, you set up an allocation value for a given strategy, how much money you want to invest into that strategy and then all the trades are copied um, um, taking into account uh, your allo allocation amount. So let's go 
let's go a little bit through what, what we can show as key figures. So uh, what you can see is growth, you can see equity and balance, and you learned already the difference uh, are floating losses or profits. Uh, therefore, yeah, we have now here two lines. Uh, there are other strategies which might have step downs uh, that might be a withdrawal but um, therefore it's always good to have a view on equity and growth in combination uh, because growth is really everything without any deposit or without any withdrawal um, therefore please look to both graphs in order to to know is that a withdrawal in equity yes or no and um, so that's uh, one of my recommendations here. We talk about, uh, already about equity balance deviation and um, I mentioned that this is a quite important key figure. Uh, and now you can see that we are that transparent that we even show that uh, over time. So you can see it um, over, since inception of the strategy uh, so that you can have that kind of information as well. Why do we present so many informations about the strategies? We want to give you everything you need to make your own decisions. And always the question is, is the strategy suitable for me? Do I like it? Yes or no, but therefore you need an input. And the inputs are summarized here uh, on that web page. You see, for example, a monthly return table for uh, such a strategy and you see some statistics about how many trades have been executed. So you see in this case, more than 2000 trades um, have been executed in a little bit more than one year. So there's statistic behind, which is always good if we talk about trading or trading strategies. It's not just six lucky winners and that's all. No, there's really statistics behind. The other thing you can see for any given strategy is uh, what are the instruments being traded. Um, in this case, as I mentioned, it's just British pound, US dollar, uh, but um, you can see more details like any trades of the history, any closed trades, uh, you can have a view if you like here as well. So that's everything we present is strength transparent and you can use that kind of information uh, even uh, before you uh, open such a JFD Invest account. So everything is accessible. So the other one, uh, what I would like to mention is that now it comes to you. What do, um, strategy do you like most? Is it just profit and you um, you accept, uh, for example, those floating losses, then of course, strategy Hyperion would be the best one uh, here. But uh, there are other strategies. Uh, for example, let's have a view on gold mine. Okay, that strategy is uh, with 20% profit up to now and uh, has a lower equity balance deviation. Same is true for Archimedes, for example, even 35%. So, um, now it's up to you what what strategy you like most and um, yeah then um, uh, you do your own decisions i mentioned there's a new strategy and the new one has been labeled on the uh, web page uh, hesperus hesperus i have no idea how to pronounce that word anyhow hesperus let's call it that way you know what i mean and I go into the strategy as well. You see immediately here the growth versus time. Uh, strategy has a, a history of six months, which is always the minimum history for any strategy on JFD uh, Invest. And the good other thing is all the strategies went through a review process. That means there's a team of experts at JFD um, having a close view on any trading strategy uh, which was planned to be launched at JFD Invest and only after a positive review process strategy is indeed launched at JFD Invest. This one was last uh, has Paris and we can see the growth here and always if you have something like that those kind of drawdowns um, there might be uh, equity balance deviation once again but you see mm, it's not that huge mm, doing a quite good job. 
I'm always interested in the question, hey, uh, what instruments is this strategy trading? And in this case, it's trading four different Forex pairs. And um, you might may think, hmm, those are more the minors. And you are right. Um, but those Forex pairs are extremely good for what I call side world markets and you have the right strategy for that. And strategy Hesperus is exactly doing that kind of job. It, it uses sideward markets and doing profitable trades even in that situation. And now the good thing is that especially those underlyings don't have huge trends in one direction. And since the strategy is targeting for sideward, um, therefore, any huge move in one direction would be not good for those strategies. But those underlyings have a, a tendency uh, to, to go sideways and having no strict or straight move in one direction, either north uh, nor uh, south. So it's really wonderful to have a strategy for that kind of conditions. And this one is exactly for this. Um, special market conditions. And those market conditions, uh, maybe um, I have no, no proven statistics about that, but I can tell you uh, that about around about 70% of time, all markets are more in side verbs than in trending um, uh, behavior. So uh, therefore, it's good to have that kind of strategy. Trading the right instruments for that kind of um, um, market behavior. And therefore, I think it's a really good choice to have that strategy as well. And now I think it's time to jump into my personal JFD Invest account. And um, let me see that we go into that. And uh, that is this one here. Um, so let me open that one. Uh, hopefully it will work now. Yes, uh, popping up here and you see my personal JFD Invest account. What does it mean? What I'm doing here is exactly the same you might do if you open a JFD Invest account. Absolutely exactly the same. I have opened a JFT Invest account at the very beginning of JFT Invest. It is now eight months ago, starting in September last year. And I opened an account with 10K, 10K Euro uh, as my starting deposit for that account. And what I do since that time is I jump into strategies. Uh, sometimes I keep them running for several months. Sometimes I stop out a strategy after a few weeks. So what I do is I do my personal selection process. And of course, we will talk about where I'm invested as we speak. And of course, um, you can see here a very good example of what you can achieve with JFD Invest. Since September last year, I have earned um, yeah, about close to 50% gross profit. You, realize that I use the word gross. So there must be a net. And the net profit you can see here, that's exactly what's shown in my balance of my account. Uh, net profit is um, about 3,700 euros, which is about uh, 37%. Now you may think, hey, where's the difference? Yeah, the difference is the performance fee. Uh, that's the topic we have touched up to now, but I will show you uh, for uh, the strategies where to find that kind of information. But uh, finally, if you follow a strategy, you get that information before pressing the right button. So there's a performance fee involved. In this case, it's 25%. But the good thing is you only have to pay a performance fee if there's performance. So if there are losses, you don't have to pay anything. And the other good thing is that the logic behind is high watermark. And that principle uh, is quite well because only if we reach new highs, then we have to pay um, fees for the difference. So if, for example, a strategy would earn 1,000 uh, and um, the calculation of performance is always done at the very end uh, of a month. And if the strategy has a new high, okay, yeah, then I have to pay for that 
1,000 uh, profits, 250 euro uh, fee. But let's think about a strategy now losing 1,000. And then once again, next month, uh, earning 1,000. Still, we don't have to pay fees because we don't have reached new highs. So it's only if we reach new highs, since I follow that strategy, then there are performance fees um, charged, but only in that case. So that's really good to have that kind of principle behind. It's, uh, I think, a quite fair statement uh, to do it that way. So that's the difference between my return, which would be the gross profit, and my actual balance, because I have paid those fees as well, <laughs> of course. It's a really steady growth. It's really fantastic to have um, a platform like JFT Invest in order to achieve those kind of results. Let's have a view on where I'm invested as we speak. And you see that as we speak, I'm invested in three different uh, strategies, and that is Gold Rush, FX Global, and Gold Mine. Okay, we have some floating losses, uh, which you can realize here. For example, for FX Global, uh, you see the balance and the equity. Um, and if you follow my my webinars uh, quite um, frequently, then you may think, hey, last week you have been invested in Hyperion, and now you step out. Uh, what's going on? That's right. So I stepped out of the strategy um, because the floating losses have been a little bit higher than expected. And then the other good thing has been the open trades of that strategy have been short trades um, mainly. And you might remember that we have had the Trump Twitter about uh, um, China and uh, so market went down and uh, market went second step down that was a good moment to step out of the strategy i realized some still floating losses and that has been the reason for that um behavior you see here step down and uh, yeah since i realized those losses therefore i have had that kind of step down here um, by the way other step downs uh, have um they are quite easier explanation, for example, this one. This one is just fees, uh, but that's okay. Uh, if I earn money, I can pay fees. Uh, so that's, that's um, for me, it's fine uh, because still I have more than three and a half thousand profits overall. Let me go back to my allocation table here. You see that I'm invested in three strategies and you see that I have unallocated money in the order of 5,700 euros. Hey, that's good. So we can jump into new strategies. Therefore, let's have a view. First one, we looked already. That was Hesperus. Okay, I decided I like the strategy and I want to follow. Therefore, I'm now doing exactly those steps and you can see how easy it is to jump into a new strategy. So. The first question you have to answer is the amount of money you want to allocate for that strategy. And the, there's a minimum. Um, let me uh, stop that process because I want to first show you here the bottom details because here you can see uh, on the one hand the performance fee is mentioned and on the other hand there's a number minimum investment. So with any strategy, there's a minimum investment sum you have to take, otherwise you cannot follow that strategy. So in this case, it's 3K. That's fine with me. Uh, I have enough money in my account. Okay, therefore I can follow uh, that strategy. So I go for the minimum investment, so 3K. And I want to apply what is called risk management. Risk management is quite an easy thing. Risk management means if, in this case, you still see that um, um, that right now it's 10% uh, risk management, and that number means that if I follow the strategy and I would lose 10%, in my case, 300 euros, I would automatically be stopped out of that strategy. So all, all trades, trades, open trades are closed and no new trades are opened. So that's perfect if you want to um, reduce your your exposure, your risk. And on the other hand, it means, hmm, if it's just floating losses and later those trades might turn into profitable ones, you're not anymore part of that game. So therefore, it's a question up to you where to set that level. In my case, I um, 
even go for 100% because I'm willing to accept the risk of total loss of my allocated money. But you can use any other number here uh, as you like. Um, okay, so that's a decision up to you. And now I want to follow just pressing the button uh, and then I do the confirmations and you will see that uh, in about one minute I get another confirmation um, and uh, then uh, I'm really into that strategy. Let's have a view on allocation. Oh, it's already in. Um, so any new trade of that strategy, if that new trade is opened, that trade will be mirrored into my account as well. Um, and in this case, it will be one to one because I use uh, that uh, number here. Okay, that was one strategy, but I think I will go into another one as well. And the other strategy I have in mind is Neptune. I really like that strategy, and then I can show you why. Neptune, um, and now we I have a view on the growth. Has a quite steady growth. Okay, then there have been some drawdowns uh, here at the end of uh, March, but now strategy is um, yeah starting to go north once again, and I definitely want to be part of that. I know that the strategy is not top performing within the overall list, but that's now a little bit more conservative decision and. Um, before I really follow, let's have view an equity balance deviation versus time, because I always like that kind of statement. And that's really brilliant. Uh, no huge uh, moves. Okay, that's uh, quite well. And the other good thing is, I know a little bit more about the strategy. The strategy is closing all trades at the end of the day before any swap costs. So uh, it will close all the trades before 11 German time, um, and therefore, I don't have overnight risk, I don't have over weekend risk, and I don't have to pay any fees for uh, any costs, uh, for financing costs, which are called uh, swap costs. So since the strategy is that easy to have no open trades overnight, and I like that quite well, because that doesn't have, uh, introduce any extra risk, and I like that the strategy itself is already a big and huge portfolio of more than 30 different underlyings. Um, so that's the reason why I like the strategy. Okay, let's have a view on details. And we can see, okay, minimum investment sum, uh, investment sum is just 1K. That's good. And uh, yeah, let's jump in. So I go for that one as well. So 1,000, I go with a minimum. Um, and uh, I do the same steps. I use risk management and I go again for the 100% level. Okay, accepting terms and condition, follow Neptune, and now starting. You see how easy it is? It's really brilliant to have that kind of platform. Um, it's um, yeah, easy to set up, it's easy to do your decisions because you get all the information you need, uh, at least I think so. And uh, you can do your own review process. You have all the key figures of a strategy, all um, numbers you, uh, you, you, you take into account for your personal decision. And yeah, you see, we, you have up to now 15 different strategies, trading different instruments. Uh, for example, Hyperion would be a strategy just trading DAX and uh, Dow Jones, for example. There are other trading minor, others trading major forex pairs, uh, commodities, whatever. So there, it's up to you to make your own decisions with all those informations. What you can achieve, I can easily summarize um, because I have my own JFD Invest account and you can see what I, I have achieved um, since September last year. That's a good job to, to have more than three and a half K already earned. Um, so, um, you might remember my statement in January. Um, that's the money for my next vacation. Uh, so good to have that and good to have that steady growth north. If you like it, just do the same things if, uh, um, or similar things to your own preferences and then you can be part of JFD Invest as well. So that's for today. If you have any questions, just send an email to support at uh, JFD 
bank.com or if you like you can even use uh, not this page uh, my email address and then you have to write down a quite complicated last name uh, so as dot friedrichowski at jfdbank.com anyhow we will answer any question uh, which you have in mind to be part of JFT Invest. That's for today and hopefully see you back next week and enjoy your time. Bye bye.